Hi guys, thank you for joining us again. Um, nice to be back out. It's great to be back out again. It's been a while and I do apologise for that. Um, same. Um, uh, don't you apologise. I'm well, apologise. We can't have two people apologising at the same time. It's just not right. I, I, I'm apologising because I haven't been around. I've been, I've been quite busy. I get around. <laughs> get my head down. But um, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant to be here. Uh, just a little day trip get out and get some forest therapy you know replenish on that energy but yeah thank you to everybody that's like sent their best wishes to me um, I really do appreciate it and a lot of you and a lot of what you said has really helped me through so yeah I have these days I go right down and then I go right up again and today thankfully is one of them days where I'm on a high I'm back out with Junior which is always a pleasure what's this clown doing now <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. please oh, over this little bit. Please snap. <laughs> <laughs> Do some fatwood hunting. Fatwood. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get them fire accelerants. <laughs> fire accelerants. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them fire accelerants. Hold up. Hold up. What's this about? Ghost walk. Must have been, that's what them arrows must have been about. That's actually quite creepy, look at his eye. Don't touch him. Why? I'm joking. <laughs> oh man. Do you reckon there's more to be found? I don't know, find out. Oh, look at all that stuff on there. Are you still talking about fatwood? Look at people who've already been trying. I don't know, maybe they just chopped it down to make this walk for it. That looks really creepy, doesn't it? I reckon there's more to be found. You reckon what? That's what them arrows must have been. That must have, like you say, it must have been a ghost walk at some point for someone. Junior don't care about no ghost walk, he's fat with hunting. When he gets in this frame of mind, there's no stopping him. This is like, just for you guys that don't know, fat wood. Um, when a limb is broken or damaged on the pine tree, the sap the sap runs down to that limb and stores in the limbs and it's really resiny, which is flammable. Look at that. Look how excited he is. Look at that. <laughs> Show me. See all that orange there? Well, one minute, let me zoom in. That is pure fat wood. You're happy, aren't you? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, look at it. That camera smell it's it. all the way through. Mm. If you go down in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Ba da ba bee ba boo ba doo. -a.
not a sound Sneaking out through your window Into the night Where we were meant to be Skipping town Searching for no land Ready or not This might be our last chance Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get some food on, chill out, and again, there's no real plan for today's with you. No, not really, just enjoy nature, you know, clear our minds, reset for the upcoming month or week. See, this is why I need him out more, because this is how he talks all the time. <laughs> so chilled out and relaxed, there's no like... There's no 100 mile an hour with Junior. It's always just like relaxed approach to every single day, every week, <laughs> every month. And I kind of need that in my life. Because <laughs> with me, everything just seems like I'm one of these people that lets little jobs become big jobs. And then everything just overwhelms me. And before you know it, I think, yeah. Do everything at once. It becomes, it becomes so stressful that your mind just doesn't do anything. That's right. Whereas Junior's kind of like, Ah, we'll just take it as it comes, mate. We'll just, you know, plod along and no, no, <laughs> if it no happens, big rush. If it happens, if it doesn't, oh well. Yeah. On to the next one. So we've kind of got a nice balance. Like, it's good. And I like Ben's approach sometimes. Sometimes I am way too laid back for a situation that I need to be <laughs> um, stressing out about. We've seen that before. <laughs> Where did we see that? Where did we see that? Oh. I think we were snowed in and the car was stuck and Junior was kind of like, mate, let's just chill out, let's just enjoy this moment. It's like, the car's stuck! We're going to die! <laughs> Don't tell it's me to be... It's snowing, it's minus six right now! <laughs> Don't tell me to be calm, I've got trench foot, god damn it! <laughs> uh, so yeah, he is always like really laid back in these situations, regardless of what the situation. So if you're in a burning building, Junior's kind of not the guy you want around. <laughs> Junior, what should we do? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cool. I mean, I'm, I'm only burning a little bit. Like, I'm good for a bit. I mean, this time's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's sharp, right? All right, let's polish her off. Just want to take this time while I'm on my own really quickly and because I know there'll be a few of you out there who related so much to to my last video which was the Mind Diaries video and I don't want to keep going on about this because I feel like negativity breeds negativity although depression isn't negativity I feel like talking about it constantly can keep you locked in that state of being depressed I have mental health issues which I deal with on a daily basis um, and because of the nature of these mental health issues, that plummets me into depression. So I get the, the worst of, of everything. I deal with mental health problems that sometimes make me awkward, sometimes make me act strange. Um, I find it really hard to focus sometimes or concentrate. I have horrendous thoughts that just pop into my mind. And I also suffer with OCD as well, so I've kind of got the worst of everything. And because of the OCD side of things, the horrible thoughts that come into my mind, I can't then let go. And it becomes a vicious circle. I plummet into depression and, and so it goes round and round and round and round in the circle. The cycle is very hard to break. It's one of them things where I wish it was a cold, I wish it was a broken leg, I wish it was a flu or 
something like that because then I'd have symptoms that can show people it's the most horrible thing that you can have because how do you show somebody how much you're hurting inside how do you show somebody how ill you actually are um, yeah Right guys, that's it for today. Thank you for coming along with us and joining us for this very short video. I understand it has been a short video, but... Um, we're only on a day trip, so... Yeah, we're on a day trip. It's not like an overnight camp or anything. However, they will be coming back into uh, play very soon again, what the June. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. You still haven't broke your um, mountain virginity. No, we need to do that. So we need to do some stargazing. Yeah, do you mind not swinging on my handle, please? <laughs> <laughs> so guys honestly it's been a pleasure and like I said at the start of this video thank you to absolutely everybody who has um, sent their best wishes my way and asked about Junior and when he'll be back and things like that we really appreciate the support um, we always say that and we do like I know other YouTubers say that but we genuinely do like appreciate it and I do try to reply to as many people as I can that comment to me or try and reach out to me in some way shape or form I try but if you ask anyone when it comes to texting, writing anything. It's pointless in having a phone. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. If you write on a tablet, like um, one of these ancient tablets to Junior where you have a hammer and chisel and write a little message into him, you might get a reply <laughs> somewhere between now and the year 2759. <laughs> That's very true. Or a, or a, um, one of them pigeons that you send in wartime with a little message. <laughs> message in a bottle. Or a message in a bottle <laughs> yeah. is always a good one. Yeah, you're probably going to get a reply quicker than if you send him a text. So. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're wrapping it up now guys and we'll be back out again for another video soon as, hopefully, as soon as we can. Um, like we always say, take it easy. Please, please, please look after yourselves. And if you can, this is a big one for me at the minute. Look out for somebody else as well. Help somebody if you can. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Cheers guys, thank you. Like I said, take it easy, look after yourselves, stay in touch. Leave comments in the box below. Always hit the thumbs up if you've liked this video and spread the word about the 401 files. Peace. Peace. Yo, two. Toodle in. You've totally forgotten, haven't you? Toodle pip. Pippa chew a tittle. <laughs> Pippa chittle tittle. <laughs> Pippa chittle tittle. Toodle chip. Over and out. Pip toodle. Eventually we're going to get so fucked up with what it actually is, we're going to forget totally what the right thing was. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Now that just doesn't sound... We've said it so... Toodle tip. We've said it wrong so many times. Toodle loo. Ah, so toodle pip was wrong. Yeah. Hang on, toodle pip sounds right. No, it's definitely just toodle loo. Toodle -loo. 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 Toodle -loo.